long inside the WRCB app. Eyewitness News Today continues right now. Coverage you can count on. Channel 3 Eyewitness News Today. And days after a deadly shooting at Coyote Jacks, uh, local leaders continue to push for change. We'll have details on the very latest move by the city of Chattanooga. Plus, Chattanooga police need your help finding the man accused of leaving a crash that killed his passenger. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for being with us. I'm Lori Mitchell. I am John Martin. It is Friday Eve, everybody. And man, many people are enjoying these cooler temperatures. But could we see some rain in the forecast this weekend? We got some a few days ago, which was great. We could still use a little bit more. Meteorologist David Carnes is here to fill us in. Uh, yeah, we'll get a few showers and another big burst of cooler air this weekend. Right now, all of that cool air and the precipitation is off to the west, getting some uh, pretty good thunderstorms across parts of Nebraska over into Iowa and down into parts of Missouri. Meanwhile, uh, behind that front with air is much cooler, getting, believe it or not, blizzard conditions across parts of the Dakotas, and that's stretching on back uh, down into Colorado. We're getting some of that rain even into parts of the mountains of Utah, getting, or excuse me, snow, getting a little bit of snow there as well. So uh, looking at that cooler air moderating, but still making its way uh, into the Tennessee Valley. Now that was this morning. This evening, we're going to see that front gel, all of that cool air start to march. We'll get some rain showers and then cooler air moving in on Saturday. 61 degrees right now in Chattanooga, 58 in Cleveland, 55 in Athens. Feels great this morning. Trying to get the weekend started early with a golf game. You'll have fine weather for that or whatever you want to do today. 75 by noon, low 80s this afternoon with highs in the low 80s up and down the valley, mid 70s in the higher elevation. So uh, lots going on this weekend. We'll dive into that a little bit deeper coming up in just a few minutes. Lori John. David, thank you very much. We'll check back. Developing this morning a major update on the fate of the Coyote Jacks nightclub. You've been hearing about this club for the past several days, and now the city is saying the bar can no longer sell beer. They told the business yesterday that its license had been dissolved. Channel 3's Grace McKenna is live at Coyote Jacks now. Grace, what does this mean for the bar? Well, the city sent this letter to Bankable Holdings yesterday. That's the company that owns the Coyote Jacks property. And it says that their beer license was dissolved on July 24th. Now, Coyote Jacks can't sell beer anymore. And in that letter, the city says they've shared this update with the Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission. And they're going to be the ones who can make a decision on the liquor license for the bar. And the city also, they just took things another step further. They say they plan to file a nuisance abatement. And that's the next step to get Coyote Jacks shut down by the court. Now, Coyote Jacks is still set to go before the beer board next week to review some previous violations, but with this latest order potentially on the way from a court, it's unclear how long those doors are going to stay open. For now, live in Chattanooga, Grace McKenna, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Always a uh, developing story with Coyote Jacks. Appreciate that update. Thank you so much. A former Georgia state trooper was arrested in Whitfield County and charged with making false statements and writings. Timothy Williams was was taken into custody after an investigation by the GBI and the Dalton Police Department. A GBI spokesperson says an official investigation was launched on September 16th after agents were called to a home in Dalton to investigate an open line 911 call. Officials say Williams was possibly involved in a physical altercation with someone at the home. Williams was booked in the Whitfield County Jail. Chattanooga police are searching for a young man who is accused of leading police on a high-speed chase through Fort Oglethorpe. The chase led to a fiery crash that killed his backseat passenger. Police say the driver, Douglas Cody Gass, began speeding and eventually hit a power pole in Hamilton County. He ran away after crashing into the pole Monday night, leaving passenger Kobe Birchfield trapped in the burning car. Kobe's funeral will be held Saturday. If you know where Cody Glass may be, you are asked to call Chattanooga Police. An 18-year-old is in jail this morning after robbing a man at gunpoint. Chattanooga Police arrested Damian Reed and a juvenile for two robberies near 6th Avenue. Joseph Hall says the two men ran up to him while he was checking his mail. When he told them he didn't have any money, one of them pulled a gun. Hall says he turned his back on the men, then ran inside. When I looked into the gunman's eyes, I, I can just see, to my, to my psychological thinking, the way I was thinking, putting myself in his shoes, I don't think he would really want to shoot for, for a few measly dollars. 
Police arrested the two men just minutes after Hall and another victim called 911. Reed is now charged with aggravated robbery. Well, here's something that's got a lot of people confused. A new policy on how the Tennessee Bureau of Inve Investigation tests for THC is raising concerns. In a recent memo, TBI announced it will no longer conduct THC tests in marijuana for misdemeanor amounts unless it is required by the district's attorney for trial. Channel 3's Caroline Corrigan joins us live outside the Hamilton County Courthouse this morning. Caroline, you're still trying to sort all this out <laughs> yourself. Tell us what you know so far. Well, John, Lori, I think the big question now is how will this new policy impact cases inside the courtroom here if TBI isn't going to test these submissions? Now, this comes about a week after TBI announced they will no longer test for THC for misdemeanor amounts unless the district attorney makes a specific request. Now, the TBI says they are currently on pace to receive more than 10,000 submissions of some type of green leafy sub substances. Now I sat down with a local attorney to find out what could happen to these cases if a test is not conducted. It could last a while or the, the state could decide just not worth the time and money to prosecute it. Um, I think that was part of what TBI's issue was is they had so many requests for testing this year just because CBD had become more normalized and decriminalized uh, that they couldn't continue to test everything that, that was being sent to them. I'm told local attorneys are still waiting to hear from the DA's office here to figure out what their policy will be in deciding what cases are tested and what cases will not be tested. For now, live in Hamilton County, Caroline Corgan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And, and this is something that's caused a lot of confusion for states in the past with the legalization of, of recreational marijuana. So this is something that we haven't even passed any laws like that here, but it's already causing um, a lot of confusion. Caroline, thank you very much for that. We will see what the next couple of years bring. Yeah, she'll be talking about this a lot, and so will we. Not a good night for the Braves. Oh. Bad night. Yeah, the they Braves. cannot overcome a 10-run first inning by the Cardinals. But we will show you why one athlete from the Tennessee Valley is celebrating after last night's game. Sports is next. Closed captioning is brought to you by Gary Massey and Associates. You gotta get Gary. Installation detected. That's weird. Maximum speed activated. Slow it down. Speeding up. Call Mr. Electric today for electrical repairs, upgrades, and installations. Own the tailgate with Bojangles' new Tennessee Titans Big Bow Box. Packed with chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. Bojangles. It's bow time, y'all. The Home Builders Association and EPB Fiber Optics invite you to the 2019 Parade of Homes. This free self-guided tour of beautiful and distinct homes by award-winning builders will feature the latest in construction, architectural trends, design, and decor. Two weekends, 11 builders, 21 homes, and your chance to win awesome prizes. Mark your calendar for the 2019 Parade of Homes. Find out more online or download our mobile app, Parade Craze. Wow, eight years in a row for the old J.D. Power Award. Whoa, how did you do that? Well, it's easy. We have agents in more communities than anyone in the state of Tennessee. Plus, check this out. They have 16 regional claim centers throughout the state. Plus the fact that they're based in Tennessee. Right here in Columbia. Columbia. So it's no surprise that they have more J.D. Power Awards than any auto insurer in the state. Make sense? Where are we? From the 5 a.m. wakers Sus. to the 6 a.m. sleepers, everyone wants to stay connected. That's why Xfinity Mobile created a wireless network that auto-connects you to millions of secure Wi-Fi hotspots and the best LTE everywhere else. And when mobile and internet work together, staying connected has never been easier. Get Xfinity Mobile and Xfinity Internet each for $30 a month. Plus, switch and save up to $800 a year on your wireless bill with Xfinity Mobile. Call, click, or visit a store today. Detected. It's weird. Maximum speed activated. Slow it down. Speeding up. Call Mr. Electric today for electrical repairs, upgrades, and installations. 
Channel 3 Storm Alert Weather, presented by Window Depot. Chattanooga's most affordable window professionals. Get a great view with Window Depot. We all saw here in Game 2. The St. Louis Cardinals scored 10 runs for the biggest opening inning in postseason history and handed the Atlanta Braves another playoff heartbreak with a 13-1 loss in a decisive Game 5. For more on the end of the Braves season, we turn to sports director Paul Shaheen, who was at SunTrust Park, for all the action. Atlanta skipper said like every game they prepare for a variety of scenarios, but giving up an MLB postseason record first inning 10 runs was not one of those scenarios. But that scenario became a nightmare reality, just as real as Atlanta's now 18 seasons without a postseason series win. I said, I don't know that I've seen that many guys hit in the first inning that quick in my entire life. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like you mentioned, you haven't quite seen maybe a start to a game like that, a game of this magnitude, too. That said, how do you address your men after a game like this? It's hard to, and they're all hurting in there. I mean, we had huge expectations for ourselves, and uh, rightly so. I said, you know, you put this thing together, your goal is to, to get in the playoffs because anything can happen after that. I guess we saw that. Anything did happen. It's just there's not a lot to say. You know, a game like it's not a lot to say. I mean, it's pretty evident what went on. I don't know that anybody wants to hear me say we had a great year. I mean, because the outcome wasn't what we wanted. So that does it. Put a wrap on the 2019 Atlanta Braves. They end one win shy of 100 and one win shy of the NLCS. But not to be left out from Game 5 tonight, a celebratory night for one Dunlap family. Sequatchie County High School grad Dakota Hudson, starting pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals, is on to the NLCS. We had a chance to talk to Dakota's dad, a very proud father here in Atlanta. Really can't even put it into words. I mean, it's things as, as you're growing up, uh, your kids are growing up, you always kind of in the back of your mind think about these things happening in the past that you take to get there. It's a feeling that's indescribable. All right, that does it for Channel 3's postseason coverage here in Atlanta. You can put a wrap on the 2019 baseball season for us as well. We'll continue to follow, though, Dakota with the St. Louis Cardinals in the NLCS. At SunTrust Park, Paul Shane, Channel 3, Eyewitness Sports. The UT Pride of the Southland Band will visit the scenic city. Tennessee is set to play Alabama and Tuscaloosa on October 19th. The Friday before the Pride of the Southland Band will be right here in Chattanooga. You're invited to wear your orange, head over to AT&T Field and watch the band perform. The fun gets underway October 18th starting at noon. It is absolutely free to go check them out and listen to all of their talent. Yeah, really good uh, turnout usually for that. So another one, uh, cool thing again, AT&T, not Finley this year. Still ahead, the struggle is real. All right, we'll explain why a new study suggests 40% of Tennesseans are really struggling financially. There are a lot of options when choosing an attorney. All you have to do is turn on the TV. At Wedemark Keith, we believe in doing things a little different than others. Respecting our profession, dignity in advertising, and respect for our clients. Call Wedemark Keith, WKFirm.com. Why do you need fast, reliable internet so your world doesn't turn upside down? Turn it around. Switch to Spectrum. And give your family what they deserve. Switch to Spectrum Internet for just $44.99 a month with free moto. Call 1-833-624-4499. With starting speeds of 100 megabits, you'll be able to connect your devices at the same time and with no data caps. Spectrum Internet has the fastest, most consistent download speeds based on the latest FCC report. AT&T can't say that. And with Spectrum TV, you get over 125 channels with free HD and free on demand. Plus, you get the free Spectrum TV app to stream your favorite shows and movies in and outside your home. Switch to Spectrum TV for just $44.99 a month. Call 1-833-624-4499. And no contract. Call and switch to Spectrum Internet and TV for just $44.99 a month each. Spectrum will even buy out your current contract up to $500. Call 1-833-624-4499. Turn your world around. Call now. You can be driving, and then suddenly, your life spins out of control because you've been hit by a negligent driver. If you've been in an accident and suffered any of these, the time to call Watermark Keith is now. WKFirm.com.
Channel 3 Eyewitness News Traffic. CHM Memorial would like to thank our staff, physicians, and volunteers for making us the number one hospital in the region by U.S. News and World Report. Visit memorial.org slash awards today. It's 6.15 on this Friday Eve as we take you outside to show you how your morning commute is shaping up. Interstates are looking great right now. No accidents there. But hey, we want to let you know uh, the Chattanooga Motor Car Festival begins tomorrow. That means East 8th Street between Broad and Pine Street, including Chestnut. Between uh, East 8th and MLK, you're going to be closed until Monday. Basically, that's everything down in the West Village. You're going to have to find an alternate route around there. And another traffic alert for you. If you have to travel through the Boy Scout Road Middle Valley intersection in Hickson, you may be sitting in traffic today. The Hamilton County Highway Department will be repaving the road from 8.30 in the morning until 4 o'clock in the evening through tomorrow. The intersection will not be closed during that time, but they say you might want to go another way to avoid uh, the wait time until uh, that repaving is finished. Street is going to be closed to Sunday afternoon for the Susan G. Cohen More yes. Than Pink Walk. Of course, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so a lot of people will be down there. And there's a lot of events happening this weekend. We've been so talking many. about some of them. Uh, we'll get to more of them coming up, but let's get over to meteorologist David Carnes, who is tracking some really nice weather here in the Tennessee Valley. Yeah, if you've been waiting for a big time fall weather to finally move in, well, we have a little bit of fall weather now. We're going to have big time fall weather even more so this weekend. You're going to love it. Georgia Apple Festival, one of the many events going on this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, next weekend also. But this weekend, boy, it's going to be nice. Maybe a few showers on Saturday morning in LJ. But look at the temperatures through the afternoon. It'll stay in the mid to upper 60s and it will clear out during the afternoon. So Saturday, even the rainfall that you get, tenth of an inch of rain or less. So it should be overall a really good day on Saturday. Sunday, not too bad either. Uh, you can see that cooler weather slide in 49 by 8 a.m. and it'll be nice through the day with about a 10 percent chance of a stray shower late in the day on Sunday in LJ. Here in the Tennessee Valley this morning we back it up a few days and we're looking at 75 by noon. A little bit warmer ahead of the front. It'll be in the low 80s today, mid 80s tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. Saturday morning we'll see a few showers moving through and then a big cool down for your weekend. Mid to upper 50s, low 60s around the area right now. It's 50 in Murphy, 56 in Blue Ridge. Uh, very low levels of ragweed in the air right now. And the front well to our west, ahead of that front, you can see some strong, if not severe, thunderstorms going on. Parts of Kansas, Missouri stretching up into Nebraska, Iowa. And then we hit the, co the colder air, and you can see not only heavy snow, but blizzard conditions across parts of the Dakotas and snow trailing all the way down into the mountains of Colorado. So all of that is moving our way. This is the ViperCast imagery of that front by 6 o'clock this evening, and you can see the showers and storms ahead of the front, the snow behind the front where the temperatures are cooler. That front out of ahead of it, we'll see warmer air continuing to slide in. Uh, this is Saturday morning and we're looking at, uh, yeah, maybe a few showers moving through Saturday morning, but by Saturday afternoon into Sunday, cooler air will settle in and it'll make for a very nice weekend. Saturday morning, again, about a tenth of an inch of rain uh, will fall on average, maybe a little more here, a little less there, but you're not going to see much. If you have ball games on Saturday morning, I think you're going to be okay but I can't rule out a light drizzle here and there. Warm and pleasant today. We'll have a few clouds, 83 for the high. Low 80s all up and down the valley, up in elevation a little bit. It'll be in the mid-70s. And then clear, starry skies tonight. Should be a very nice evening for whatever you have planned for your Thursday. Mid to upper 50s up and down the valley, upper 40s in Murphy. And then that cooler air holds off until Saturday afternoon. Boy, look at this, 83 today, 85 tomorrow. 30% chance of some morning showers on Saturday, followed by the big cool down going from 85 Friday. Friday to 70 on Saturday, and a lot of you won't get out of the 60s on Saturday. And then Sunday, just a perfect fall day, 47 in the morning, 74 in the afternoon. It'll stay nice and fall-like through next week with another front knocking us back down. We'll get up to 78 on Monday and Tuesday. A few more showers late Tuesday into Wednesday, and then another cool down as we drop back down to 70 degrees on Wednesday afternoon. So tis the season. Uh, make outdoor plans as much as you can, and there are so many fall things going on this weekend. Try to get as many of them in as you can 
And if you don't get them all in this weekend, well, next weekend you can do what you can't get to this week. Yeah, you were talking about the Apple Festival in L.A.J., and it's this weekend and next This weekend, weekend and next weekend, and a lot of them are. Uh, I know uh, Rocktoberfest is going on every weekend in October, and a lot of the events are every weekend in October. So just make your plans. Like, plan it out. You'll be able to do a lot. David, thank you very much. You got it. New this morning, according to a new United Way report, nearly 40% of Tennesseans are struggling. This new report looks at people who are right above the poverty line, but still struggling. The U.S. government notes the federal poverty line is at an annual income of $25,000. This report shows nearly 400,000 Tennesseans fall under that category. And there is another 600,000 people above the line who are still struggling. One of the biggest barriers for families mm. is daycare. Well, happening today, Governor Bill Lee is inviting all Tennesseans to join him and his wife, Maria, for an official day of prayer. Lee issued the invite on Twitter last month. The governor extended his appreciation for people who have told him they have prayed for him and his wife, which inspired him to declare today the official day of prayer and fasting for the state. 620 is your time and coming up on Eyewitness News today, volunteers are needed to help a local deputy injured in a crash. We have details on how you can help after the break. Weather changes all the time and so does technology. The Channel 3 Weather app gives you more new features to keep you informed. Along with accurate forecasts and live radar you can count on. Get the latest Channel 3 Weather app today. Presented by Chattanooga Allergy Clinic. Twisted by Weeknights at 7 on Channel 3. There are new troubles this morning surrounding the Boeing 737 MAX. The plane grounded after two deadly crashes. And so now two major airlines say they won't fly it again until next year. NBC's Tom Costello has details on the potential impact to your holiday travel. Grounded for seven months, Boeing is still testing the overhauled software on its troubled 737 MAX before requesting FAA approval likely in November. But that approval may not come until weeks later. American Airlines said it can't wait any longer to plan its holiday schedule. There you Thank go. you. Announcing it's keeping the MAX out of its fleet until mid-January when it will slowly reintroduce the plane. Southwest is also planning a January return, the slowest travel period of the year, rather than during the hectic holiday rush when travelers might avoid flying on a MAX. It gives plenty of time to make sure each airplane is back online and the, and the crews are trained and everyone knows what's happening. So far, United Airlines is still hoping its MAXs are back in time for Christmas. Despite fewer planes in the air over the holidays, travel pros do not expect airlines to raise ticket prices. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington. Dade County Deputy Major Tommy Bradford is still recovering. You'll remember he lost his leg during a high-speed chase last year, but now volunteers are helping transform his home. Crews modified a shower and doorways to fit his wheelchair. A carport and ramps were also built onto the home. The organization Steps to Hope is leading repairs outside. If you would like to help, call 423-593-3561. Wonderful story by Tanisha yeah. Cordell online. You can watch that. Uh, in its entirety. Here's a weird but necessary warning. Park biologists at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park say now is not the time to get too close to the largest wild animals in the Smokies. Do you ever want to get too close? Not to these suckers. We are talking about the elk. Tourists are crowding the park to see fall colors and hear the loud mating calls of wild elk. You ever heard one of those? No. Oh, we got to find that. <laughs> Here's the issue. The male elk is more aggressive than usual apparently right now. Yeah, it's rutting season and this could happen if you get too close. Over the past couple of weeks, there have been several reports of elk ramming cars at the National Park. There were no injuries, but if you visit the Great Smoky Mountains, be mindful of the animals. A selfie is never worth it, for goodness sakes. And honestly, at this point in time, uh, if, you, if you get run over by an animal, it's your fault. You've been warned. No one feels bad for you. <laughs> also, do yourself a favor. YouTube an elk bugle in rutting season. 
it is haunting. We're going to do that in the yes, next commercial it's break. Very fun. <laughs> right now, we want to talk about salutes, and we want to say happy birthday to Emily hey. Pierce, turning nine years old today. Hope it's wonderful. Hey, also celebrating today is Donna Clemens. Happy 52nd birthday to you. And happy birthday to Diane Hicks, who's 71 today. This salute is from your son and family, and congratulations. You're also our Bojangles winner. Come by this station to pick up a gift card for breakfast on us. And last but not oh, hey, look Caroline. at this ray of sunshine. Happy birthday, Caroline Corrigan. Happy, happy birthday. We hope it is fabulous. What a time to be alive. <laughs> hey, that's her line. I know. We uh, legitimately, uh, not in the teleprompter, I'll say this, we enjoy you each and every day, and you've been a great addition to the Channel 3 team. She is a ray of sunshine. Yes. What a gorgeous picture of her, too. That is nice. All right. Uh, coming up on Eyewitness News today, many California residents are in the dark this morning. And we'll explain why the state's largest utility company cut the power to millions of customers. It's coming up in our next half hour of Eyewitness News today. Today's birthday salutes are sponsored by Bojangles Famous Chicken and Biscuits. It's here. Bacon Mania at Jack's. Barbecue bacon patty melt, bacon double cheeseburger, and featuring our big BLT and fries for just $4.99. Six pieces of crispy applewood smoked bacon, fresh lettuce and tomatoes on big Texas toast, served with crinkle cut fries. Bacon Mania at Jack's. All about the South. Hey, Chattanooga. It's time to get you approved with the king of credit, American Car Center. We want to approve you for a low mileage, late model, pre-owned vehicle for just 500 today. 500 down today? Stop by today and you'll get a limited powertrain warranty and oil changes for up to three years. Now that's a deal. We're in the approval business, so come see us today and get that yes you've been looking for. Visit us at AmericanCarCenter.com or come see us at one of over 60 locations because the king of credit wants to approve you today. Wish we could afford to buy new furniture. What is this? It's your breakthrough from Cons Home Plus. Cons Low Payment Finder finds the lowest payment tailored to you. Good credit or building credit. Wow! And now, during Cashbacktober, get up to $500 cash back on your furniture purchase, plus an additional $200 cash back when you combine it with a TV. And get Cashbacktober offers store-wide all month long. In case you haven't noticed, there are more internet-connected devices than ever before. Fire Sticks, Roku, Apple TV, Android TV. We're streaming, gaming, taking online classes, doing homework. Tablets, phones, laptops. It's time to get the gig. It's time to get 1,000 megabits per second for just $67.99 per month with no installation fees or contracts. Get the gig today. Transform your home with new Champion Siding. Right now, save $3,500 and get payments as low as $149 per month. Enhance your curb appeal with new siding for a beautiful look that lasts as long as your home. Call 888-930-CHAMPION or visit us online today. If it's Friday night, we're getting our game on. Channel 3's Friday Night Football. Yeah. Bringing you the best coverage, the biggest plays, and the most fun. Count on our team every Friday night at 11. Brought to you by Food City and Sonic. Channel 3 Eyewitness News Today. I'm Caroline Corgan coming up how a new TBI policy could impact cases in the courtroom. Plus, your choice. Hamilton County commissioners are weighing in on if they should let voters decide if they want to fund educator salaries. We'll have details on those possible options next. Good morning, everyone. I'm Lori Mitchell. I'm John Martin. Hey, welcome back. Hey, thanks. Went glamping. Yeah. Because I'm that? a man. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot better than sleeping on the ground. Sure I'll tell is. you that much. Running water, mm -hmm. heat, air, and Netflix. All the comforts of home. Pretty good outdoor experience. Hey, uh, happy Friday Eve. Today is shaping up to be another nice day to enjoy outside. Yeah, it feels great this morning, David. What can we expect for later today? Well, first of all, if uh, based on John's description of glamping, I think I went glamping at my house this week. I think. <laughs> Except for we paid money. You did it at your own house. <laughs> right? 
Uh, yeah, come over to the house. You can glamp at my house uh, anytime. Thursday morning, this morning, look at that, that big blue street bringing blizzard conditions to parts of the northern plains and then snow extending back toward Colorado, parts of the mountains of Utah, where it's a little bit warmer. It's heavy rain, even some strong thunderstorms across parts of uh, Nebraska, stretching over into Iowa and down into Kansas and Missouri. Now that front's going to congeal, move eastward, and as it does, you can see the rain ahead of it. The heavy snow continues behind. This is this evening, so that by Saturday morning into Sunday, a lot of this air is going to moderate, but it'll still knock our temperatures down quite a bit as we head into uh, the beginning or the beginning of the weekend. Right now we're in the mid to upper 50s, low 60s, and if you're trying to get the weekend started early with a little game of golf, you'll be fine today. A little bit warmer this afternoon though, 81 by 3 p.m. and we'll get up to 83 for the high, low 80s up and down the valley, and then uh, even warmer on Friday with a high of 85, and then that big front moves in, and here is the fall weather that you've all been waiting for. We'll talk about all of that coming up in just a few minutes, guys. Definitely looking forward to that. I think a lot of people are going to see some stuff in that seven day they're they're excited about well a new policy on how the tennessee bureau of investigation tests for thc is raising concerns in a recent memo tbi announced it will no longer conduct thc tests for misdemeanor amounts unless it's requested by the district attorney's office for a trial channel 3's caroline corrigan joins us live outside of the hamilton county courthouse this morning caroline you've been sifting through the information what can you tell us about it well, the Hamilton County District Attorney General is reviewing this new policy to decide how it could impact future prosecutions. Now, this comes after TBI announced they would no longer test levels of THC for misdemeanor amounts unless the district attorney makes a specific request. I spoke to a local attorney who says that this will have an impact on cases if people decide to go to trial. It's going to be problematic if it's in the state's hands and they're not automatically testing it because that's something that they have to prove under the statute is that it is a controlled substance, which is the difference between marijuana and CBD. I'm told they haven't heard anything from the Hamilton County DA's office as far as what their policy will be and deciding which cases will be tested and which ones will, won't. But as far as how this will have an impact on local law enforcement agencies, I spoke to the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office and the Chattanooga Police Department. They tell me they don't have the ability to conduct these tests in-house, so they will continue to send these submissions off to the TBI for testing that will likely never happen. For now, live in Chattanooga, Caroline Corgan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Caroline, something we'll all be watching and following very closely. Thanks for the latest update. In Crime Stoppers, we have some pretty good pictures of a trio investigators say stole a car and more. Your tip could earn you some extra cash to keep you from falling victim. This crime happened in the parking garage at Erlanger Medical Center. It was Friday night just after 1030 when these three people are seen on camera leaving in a car that doesn't belong to them. Investigators believe the three may be responsible for other crimes as well. Chattanooga Police Sergeant Victor Miller says the suspects appear to be a female driver with two men, one of whom gets out of the car and forces the exit bar out of the way, but pay attention to the driver. She's looking to the side, but look at her clothing, and then also it looks like she has a hair wrap around her head that may stand out to you. Again, this was Friday night. The car looks to be a Honda CRV, a compact crossover SUV. Keep an eye out for where you're going, when you're going to and from your vehicle. If you see someone suspicious walking around, looking into cars or checking door handles, be sure and call police. Up to $1,000 is on the table for information in this case. 698-3333 is that number. The line is manned 24-7 and they will never ask for your name. Well, Lori, that was really impressive. That was a long story. Yeah. yeah. Important story. Yeah. Lock your doors. All right. Uh, in Dalton, police say four people robbed the same store in just six days. The first suspect, the first two suspects spent 35 minutes inside of Ross store located on West Walnut Avenue, folding up merchandise and stuffing them inside their clothing on September the 18th. Police say the two men you see on your screen stole nearly $1,300 worth of merchandise. They were seen leaving the store in a white Toyota Sienna minivan. If you have any information about either of these incidents, you are asked to call the Dalton Police 706 278 
9085. Coyote Jack's nightclub cannot sell beer from here on out. That's the latest update coming last night. The city issued a letter to the business saying its beer license was dissolved in July. Now the city is taking even more aggressive steps to try to shut down the bar for good. Channel 3's Grace McKenna is live now with more information. Grace, what is the city's next move? Lori, the city announced last night that in addition to stopping beer sales, they also plan to issue a nuisance abatement to Coyote Jacks by the end of the week, and that would put the decision to close down in the hands of a court. The Hamilton County Circuit Court could issue an injunction, and that would shut down the bar until a hearing. The city also told the State Alcoholic Beverage Commission about that notice, and that commission can decide whether or not to revoke their liquor license for this bar as well. And they are set to go. Coyote Jacks is set to go before the beer board next week to review some of those other previous violations. Police Chief David Roddy said in a statement last night that it's time to put Coyote Jacks on notice after all of the violence here. And that's exactly what the city is hoping to do with this latest move. For now, live in Chattanooga, Grace McKenna, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, every evolving story. Grace, thank you very much. Well, Hamilton County Commissioners are deciding whether to allow a wheel tax referendum on the March 2020 ballot. If approved, the question would ask voters if they want a $60 wheel tax to go toward teacher salaries. There was a lot of discussion amongst commissioners during Wednesday's meeting about the amount and timing of the election. I would really like to give the voters more options. You know, do they support an increase to the Department of Education at all? Let them say whether or not they want them to get any additional funding. Well, commissioners are supposed to have more overmodulated discussion and vote on this next Wednesday. They will also have the option of amending the resolution as well. 638 is your time. Still ahead on Eyewitness News today, Vice President Mike Pence reacts to the phone call with Ukraine that triggered the impeachment inquiry in Washington, D.C. That's coming up next. And installations. Well, President Trump gets back on the campaign trail with a rally tonight in Minneapolis, his first since Democrats launched an impeachment inquiry into his dealings with Ukraine. And meantime, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo responds to the phone call that with Ukraine that triggered the inquiry. This morning, NBC's Tracy Potts explains. <laughs> Joe Biden now says unconditionally that President Trump should be impeached. He is shooting holes as we speak in the United States Constitution, but we cannot let him get away with it this time. The president responds. Well, he's falling like a rock. The president adds he may reverse course and cooperate if Democrats schedule a vote to authorize the inquiry. They have eviscerated the rules. Uh, they don't give us any... Uh, any fair play. It's, a, it's the most unfair situation people have seen. But you can't impeach a president based on hearsay evidence behind closed doors. The House does not need to hold a vote in order to start an impeachment inquiry. There's nothing in the Constitution that says they have to. Lawmakers facing pressure back home after the White House said they will not comply with a subpoena. People I've been talking to here in my district say, well, why don't you just go arrest him? Vice President Pence now says he was not involved with asking Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to investigate Biden. I never discussed uh, the issue of, of uh, the issue of the Bidens with President Zelensky. Meantime, President Trump is insisting that the whistleblower who triggered the investigation be questioned about reported ties to one of his Democratic opponents. And Ukraine's president is now saying not only was there no pressure, but there was no blackmail in that phone call with President Trump. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. What happens when parenting and work collides? One NBC correspondent found out it can create quite an interruption. Courtney Kobe was live on the air when suddenly her four-year-old son wandered onto the set. Take a listen. Their concern is that they want. Um, their concern is that they want to have uh, Kurdish. Excuse me, my my kids are here. Live television. 
like literally you and I. <laughs> Every single morning. Uh, she was reporting on the Turkish airstrikes in northern Syria and later explained that her twin boys were at work with her because, quote, breaking news in Syria did not line up with the preschool drop-off. 643 coming up on Eyewitness News today. A major utility company in California pulled the plug. Now millions of people are in the dark this morning. Details behind the outage next. Robert Sherrill's voice rings out Friday nights in South Pittsburgh. For 61 years, he's been the voice of their Friday night football. But there's another accomplishment in Robert's life that beats even that. His story, Friday at 6. This week. See you soon. Only well and Michael Douglas from Green Eggs and Ham. Plus, day four of Cat Week. For Cat Week this year, I actually went looking for a pet, and I saw this adorable ball of fur, and I brought home another dog. Weekdays at 3 on Channel 3. Channel 3 Eyewitness News Traffic. CHM Memorial would like to thank our staff, physicians, and volunteers for making us the number one hospital in the region by U.S. News and World Report. Visit memorial.org slash awards today. It's 646 on this Friday Eve, and oh, what do we got here, ladies and gentlemen? 75 north of Bonnie Oaks. You see a T-Dot truck out there uh, asking people to, what, slow down or move over? Why? Because it's not just courteous, it's the law. Uh, 153 Hamilton County, of course, do have some more uh, scheduled maintenance there at Lee Highway. And my TDOT Smartway network just refreshed. So I wish I could tell you some more stuff that's going on. Hey, also, when you're downtown, uh, Riverfront Parkway closed uh, for uh, b b between two ferns race, or no, between uh, two bridges race. Uh, you also have West Village going to be closed uh, through the weekend for a big. Uh, Car show. Yeah, Chattanooga Motor Car Festival yeah. rolling into town for the weekend. It'll bring a lot of people and a lot of cool cars. Hopefully, they're going to have some good weather to get out and enjoy that. Here's meteorologist David Carnes, who has a look at your forecast today and the seven day. It is going to be interesting. They're closing uh, Riverfront Parkway and they're just going to have cars racing up and down. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. 59 by 8 a.m. On Saturday, this Georgia Apple Festival, one of the millions of events going on related to fall uh, coming up this weekend and next weekend. So make your plans, try to plot it all out and get as much good fall stuff in as you can. Uh, in Ella J, where the Georgia Apple Festival takes place every year, you might see a couple of rain showers on Saturday morning. The afternoon it'll clear out. Cool weather is going to be moving in through the day Saturday. So 67 and 66 degrees uh, by noon and by 5 p.m. Now Sunday is going to be a nice one, but it is going to be cooler, about 10 degrees cooler in the morning, 49, and then again in the mid-60s as we head into the afternoon. It should be a wonderful day, about a 10% chance of a stray shower late in the day on Sunday. Now let's back it up here in the Tennessee Valley uh, for your Wednesday. We're looking at, or excuse me, Thursday, I should say Thursday. This is right. That's wrong. Okay, so Thursday, 75 degrees by noon. We're going to hit the low 80s this afternoon. Just now noticing that. I've been on air since 430, just noticing that. Uh, low 80s this afternoon. It is going to be a warm one. Gets even warmer tomorrow, though. We'll get up to 85 degrees on Friday. Saturday morning, we're going to have a couple of stray showers moving through as that front slides in, and then a big, big cool down for your weekend. Uh, 61 right now in Chattanooga, 57 in Cleveland, 50 in Murphy, and very low levels of ragweed pollen in the air today. So that'll be good news for you. Looking at uh, the front off to our west, ahead of that and along that front, you can see severe storms. Uh, you look at all of that lightning popping up with these storms in parts of Kansas, Missouri, stretching on up into Iowa, back into Nebraska. Meanwhile, on the backside where that uh, temperature is much, much colder, we not only have snow from the Colorado Rockies stretching up through parts of western Nebraska, but you get up in the Dakotas, we're talking heavy snow and even blizzard conditions with crazy winds going on up there. So now nasty, nasty weather. Uh, as we move through the afternoon into the evening, that front out ahead of it, we're going to continue to see temperatures warm up. We'll be in the mid 80s tomorrow afternoon. And then as the front slides in on Saturday morning, we'll see a few rain showers moving through. And then Saturday afternoon into Sunday, we'll have a nice cool down and you will love the cool fall weather. You will want to wear some jackets and sweatshirts and sweaters and things like that this weekend. Rainfall is not going to be too bad. If you have events on Saturday morning, you're going to be OK 
okay. Just be ready for a stray uh, sprinkle or two. Maybe a tenth of an inch of rain is what we will see, and that'll be about it. A little more here, a little less there, but on average, about a tenth of an inch of rain Saturday morning. Today, look for warm, pleasant weather. A few clouds will hit 83 degrees for the high and low 80s all up and down the valley. Go up in elevation a bit. You'll be in the mid-70s. And then clear, starry skies tonight. Very nice overnight, dropping down to 59 in Chattanooga Friday morning, 56 Cleveland and 56 in Athens. And your storm alert seven-day forecast. Uh, there's the warm-up Friday afternoon, 85 degrees. And then the showers on Saturday morning. And then a high of only 70, so 85 to 70. Yeah, you're going to notice that big time and a great fall day on Sunday with lows in the 40s and nice fall weather to start off next week. A little bit warmer, but still nice, cool, comfortable mornings. Very nice afternoons in the upper 70s. And then yet another front moves in, maybe again bringing a few showers on Tuesday night into Wednesday and then another blast of cooler air on Wednesday afternoon. There you go. So good fall weather all October long. Yeah, this is going to be a great weekend to get out yeah. and have a little fun with the family. And lots to do. So David, yeah, not... thank you very much. Uh -huh. I check out this crazy video out of Northern California showing a grass fire spreading throughout a field. The sheriff's office says a tractor ignited the fire. The flames engulfed at least 200 acres of land. That's in Solano County. That's the county between San Francisco and Sacramento. Well, that fire is one of many burning in California right now. In an attempt to decrease wildfires, the state's utility pulled the plug, leaving thousands of California homes and businesses in the dark this morning. The goal, according to the utility, is fire prevention. Conditions are dry and forecasts call for heavy winds, the perfect recipe, of course, for wildfires. The utility company PG&E is hoping to avoid a repeat of last year when defective power equipment was blamed for a number of wildfires, including one that claimed 85 lives. And they desperate, desperately need rain out there. Up next, Chattanooga police need your help finding a man involved in a fiery crash. We'll have details on your top headlines. Uh, and later on the Today Show, the latest on the Turkish attacks in Syria and how President Trump is responding. Uh, real quick, want to take you back outside. Uh, shout out to our producer, Danielle, for getting this. That traffic alert we were trying to get to. Interstate 24 eastbound in Hamilton County. Multiple vehicles involved in an accident at mile marker 177. Uh, not expected to be cleared until 745-ish. You see right there, the eastbound traffic is affected with the left lane blocked. Westbound, you're still flowing, but you're going to have some rubber neckers probably soon. Use caution in that area. More coming up after this. Looky-loos. Looky-loos. <laughs> It's here, it's yours, but you do need to hurry to take advantage of it. Discovery Days, that once-a-year tax-free Columbus Day savings adventure at Scott's Furniture. You'll shop incredible sale prices on everything. Famous Ashley, Best, Sealy, including Bostropedic, Standard, Catnapper, nothing is held back. Buy with no down payment and 0% interest for one full year, and Scott's will pay the sales tax on your purchase. Plus, delivery and setup are free up to 50 miles. The tax-free Columbus Day sale ends Monday at 7 at Scott's Furniture in Cleveland. Hey, I'm right here. Let's go. Janet. Right here. You ready to catch some fish? Here we go. I'm right here. Being here matters. So when it's time to choose a Medicare plan, know that thousands of us at Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee are right by your side in the moments that matter. We can walk you through our all-in-one plans with no monthly premiums, no deductibles on medical or pharmacy, plus dental and vision coverage. We even provide a fitness membership at no extra cost and give you the freedom to choose your own doctors with no referrals required. Whether you're new to Medicare or just looking at your options, we'll offer the expertise that comes from serving Tennesseans for nearly 75 years and the care that comes from being a not-for-profit with a mission to serve. And if you need anything else, we'll be right here. To learn more, visit us online or call us at 888-902-2321. Eat your way across America at Flavored Nation. Coming to the Chattanooga Convention Center on October 19th and 20th. Taste dishes from across the country, including Maryland crab cakes, Wyoming buffalo chili, Vermont maple cream pie, and more. Sponsored by Yingling, Chattanooga Coca-Cola, and Food City. Flavored Nation is perfect for foodies, families, and friends. Get your tickets now at FlavoredNation.com and save $5 by using promo code TASTE at checkout. We can't wait for you to taste America.
At IEAR One Hour Optical, we're family, not a franchise. We believe in offering the best style, selection, service, and value in the area. Come in today and choose your new look and get one free for your spouse, kids, or even a second pair for the office, all in about an hour. Come see why families have trusted IEAR One Hour Optical for over 50 years. And as always, when you buy one pair of glasses, you get the second pair absolutely free. Visit IEAROptical.com for one of six locations near you. Channel 3 Storm Alert Weather, presented by Window Depot. Chattanooga's most affordable window professionals. Get a great view with Window Depot. We're back now with a look at today's top stories. Coyote Jack's nightclub can't sell beer. And now the city of Chattanooga is working to close the business after a string of shootings throughout the years. In a letter to the club owners, the city attorney states that the city of Chattanooga learned in July the state dissolved the company's business license. The city also plans to file a nuisance by the end of the week. Chattanooga police are searching for a young man who is accused of leading police on a high-speed chase through Fort Oglethorpe. That chase led to a fiery crash that killed his backseat passenger. Police say the driver, Douglas Cody Gass, began speeding and eventually hit a power pole in Hamilton County. He ran away after crashing into the pole Monday night, leaving passenger Kobe Birchfield trapped in a burning car. If you know where Cody Gass may be, you are asked to call Chattanooga Police. We want to take you back outside. This is the big deal happening right now. Interstate 24 eastbound in Hamilton County at mile marker 177. Multi-vehicle accident causing a big backup. Not expected to be cleared for about 45 minutes. So use caution in that area. Again, Interstate 24 eastbound at mile marker 177. We'll be back with the one and only nearly world famous David Carnes. For as little as $5 a day, you can help save a veggie. Get two delicious Hardee's original roast beef sandwiches for just $5. Hand dipped in rich au jus, not a slice of tomato or leaf of lettuce in sight. Hardee's, cause it tastes better. Welcome to Smart Fan 3000. Hello. Hello. Start. Fan. Poor installation detected. That's weird. Maximum speed activated. Slow it down. Speeding up. Off. No. Stop. Don't yell at me. I'm just a fan. Stop. Self-destruct mode activated. What? Make sure your electrical can keep up with Stop. your gadgets. <laughs> Honey! Call Mr. Electric today. Time is running out. You only have until 9 p.m. Monday, Columbus Day, to get beautiful rooms to go furniture, big savings, and finance interest free for 60 months. That's five years from now. Choose from a great selection of living rooms, bedrooms, dining rooms, mattresses, and more, and pay no interest, no games, no gimmicks. So hurry in. Remember, you only have until 9 p.m. Monday, Columbus Day, to save big and get 60 months to finance interest free. Only at Rooms to Go. If you've been hurt, call us, 265-4878. Those crossing the street to catch the bus home when I got hit by a car. The nurse said she smelled alcohol, but I hadn't been drinking. Warren and Griffin proved the smell came from a broken bottle of mouthwash. They got me three quarters of a million dollars. Here at Quality Tire Pros, we pride ourselves in getting the best service, parts, knowledge, and accessories to our customers. The Quality Tire family has proudly served Chattanooga for 62 years. We hope to be your number one choice for auto repair for years to come. Quality Tire Pros offers a wide selection of Michelin tires. No matter what you drive or where you've driven, Michelin has a tire to fit any need. Channel 3 wants to give your family a frighteningly fun time. We're giving away four packs of passes to Lake Winnipesbuka. Enter every day on WRCB's Facebook page. You have a ghastly good time. <laughs> Hardy's new 2-3 more menu makes breakfast on the go easy. Two cinnamon and raisin biscuits or a sausage biscuit, $2. Bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, $3. Hardy breakfast platter, $4. Because mornings are better on autopilot. Hardy's new 2-3 more menu. Happy Thursday. One more look at our Storm Alert 7-day forecast for the half hour is up. 83 degrees for your high today. It's going to continue warming up through Friday. We'll get up to 85. And over the weekend, okay, if it's not cool enough for you yet, this weekend, 
That'll do it. 70 degrees to the high. We'll go from 85 Friday to 70 on Saturday after a few showers on Saturday morning. And then a great fall day on Sunday. Not bad on Monday, Tuesday. And then another front brings more showers Tuesday night into Wednesday and another big cool down Wednesday afternoon going from 78 to 70. So that's what we typically see. Cold fronts moving in during the month of October, guys. We love it. We're looking forward to the weekend, David. Yep. Thanks so much and thanks for joining us. We hope you have a wonderful day. The Today Show starts right now. Good morning. Breaking overnight on the attack.